this is GMH Studios and today we're going to take a look at our app Cell Sandbox and uh, how to use it. First off you have to select your level. We currently have a small level and a big level. Uh, we're, today we're going to test a small level. So just click it. Okay. This is the room where you'll be working in. On the top right here, you can see a menu icon. Just click it and a menu opens. With this button, you can select the cell you want to place. And with this button, you can turn on the randomizer and uh, random cells will spawn. But today we're not going to turn on the randomizer yet. Just gonna place some normal cells. As you can see, they will try to hunt for food and try to stay together to form a cluster. We also have some killer cells. These cells will try to kill the normal cells, which are proteins. As you can see, they will try to hunt them down. And bacteria. These are very slow creatures, but they multiply very quick, quickly when they uh, eat food. And the normal cells will try to hunt the bacteria. And if the bacteria is dead, it will become a dead bacteria. And the normal cells can eat the dead bacteria and grow and multiply. We also have a bacteria spawner, which just spawns a lot of bacteria. We also, you can also spawn food. A virus cell. This cell will try to come in contact with other cells. And if it's in contact long enough, the other cell will also turn into a, into a virus. And bacteria will turn into dead bacteria. So the virus cannot multiply, it can only spread by infecting other cells. We also have a food spawner, self-explanatory, an antivirus. This antivirus will try to kill the viruses. And as you can see, there's already some kind of war going on. Now, those are all the cells, but now we can turn on the randomizer, place a few cells here, here, maybe some bacteria, and maybe some viruses, food spawners, and as you can see, you can observe your cells now. Every cell has a unique target and tries uh, things they try to do and ways to replicate. So every cell here is unique, it has a physics based system, so these collisions are calculated with physics and not with a normal engine. So everything should move really smoothly and very realistic. Each cell has also a unique AI of what things to do next. They just don't they don't just randomly go everywhere they pick targets as you can see the bacteria here are trying to eat something here and they're replicating to reset the room you just have to open the menu and click this reset button as you can see and if you want to navigate back to the menu you can just click the little home icon this was the tutorial on Cell Sandbox Redux. If you have any questions uh, or you would download the app, everything is in the description and write something in the comments below.